Hey, every town, every city in America has something like this. A place where people can go to bring war into their thinking. Now this particular place has used a building and the brick wall in the building to create images. So you have the so-called Statue of Liberty which is really just Helios, the false god of sun. And then the torch, which is really just the false light of Lucifer. And the emanations from the crown of false light. And holding in their hand a plan to control the earth. And then in the middle you have the Iwo Jima. Now I did a series of videos on Iwo Jima. And everybody agrees that it's the biggest bunch of malarkey that they ever heard. If you haven't seen them, I advise you to watch them because you'll agree, you'll never hear a better war hoaxer than, than the ones I found on Iwo Jima. Staged event, raising a flag on a piece of rock where nothing happened. Now obviously there was a marine who came by and took some chalk and chalked over that some things down there. Now along with the war you have what? The capital. The money. And as Eustace Mullins says, all wars are bankers wars because they, ra they, they make lots of money by manufacturing a bunch of junk that's never really even used. And then placing the debt of the wars on the heads of all those who are corpses with orations corporations. That's your name in capital letters. I have a lot of videos on that <clears throat> about the war cycles. The war cycle, the corporation cycle. Now you also see next to it there what looks like missiles, which are pretty much a hoax too. I know they can shoot them so far, but they don't go as far as they say. They don't really carry nuclear weapons or anything like that. And then there's the Band of Brothers. Let's all get together and tell everybody about how dangerous it was. Even though it really wasn't. Now there were some accidents, I'm sure. You can check out my videos on raw encounters. Where I believe I tell the story about one man in Second World War was on a naval destroyer and they were practicing shooting the guns and one of the shells ejected and injured one of the sailors on board. He had to go home to recover from the injury of the accident and he told me that the newspapers wrote it up that he was a war hero. Now that came from a man 
who served in World War II. It isn't me making that up. Anyhow, those are called Raw Encounters on my channel, War Backwards is Raw. I try to tell stories about people that served in the military, and in particular if they were in, quote, war. I try to let their stories come out as they were told to me. So they're secondhand, because they went from them to me and then to you, so but I try my best to give you my encounters in life to substantiate these truths that are being told on YouTube and not being told elsewhere. So anyhow, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. End of video.